It's National News Literacy Week, and so far we've introduced you to the broadcast journalism students at Rockford High School. But now we take you to Michigan State University, where students there are learning the importance of news literacy as well. And Alyssa Heron joining us with those details. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Well, Michigan State University actually has a student produced newscast called Focal Point, where they do everything that we do in a typical newsroom, like write, edit, and produce their own stories. They even go live. So we had a chance to catch up with them and see how they gather and produce trustworthy news. It's always important to be correct, not just first, especially when breaking a story like that, too. And that's exactly what students are learning in the Focal Point newsroom at Michigan State University to not only gather news, but understanding and verifying facts. When we talk about credibility and getting sources, um, we've always preached like, you know, you have to you have to verify everything. You have to fact check everything. You have to make sure that you have multiple sources confirming what it is that you're, you know, you're you're getting. There's so much of it that's not uh, truthful or factual. And we have to we have to make sure that they understand how to get those facts right. And when gathering the information, the students have also learned just how important it is to have multiple voices in a story. It's something that Michigan State, I think, has done a fantastic job of when we were really young, even when I was a sophomore. We took a class uh, where once a week we'd go out into the community and write a written story in the Lansing community. Uh, and at the end of the semester, we were keeping track of every single source that we interviewed, the demographic, where they were from, um, their race or ethnicity. And at the end of the day, we pooled that all together and looked at our data to see, okay, how well are we truly talking to all sides here in the Lansing community? Instructor Bob Gould is also teaching students just how important it is to look at all angles of a story to make sure it's fair and balanced. It, it makes it difficult because you don't, you, you're trying to tell them like, you may believe in your heart that this is really what's right, but you still need to hear from that other side. And that, that's what makes it difficult because, and, and I know that we struggle with this teaching this because it's, it's like, what is really Really, I mean, you can say this is facts and this is true, but then there are people who don't who don't believe that. So that's a struggle for us to teach. How do you do that? But they've listened. Gather as much facts as possible, of course, but step back and say, let's look at what I've gathered so far. Is it possible that I'm really just only focusing on this person? And there's a lot more to unfold here, and that can happen in almost any story. And as the seniors head into their first jobs, Gould hopes one thing. We want to make them good storytellers, but we also want them to understand why journalism matters and why it's important for the democracy and why we aren't just here to be a face on television. That the news is, is a public service and it's our First Amendment rights, uh, right to be out there and, and covering the news and, and getting sources and holding the powerful account accountable. I mean, I always say, give a voice to the voiceless and give, you know, hold the powerful accountable. I use that all the time. And I think sometimes it's, it sticks with students. Let's hope. So definitely some awesome lessons being learned at Michigan State University. Tomorrow we continue National News Literacy Week and we're going to be showing you how they produce their focal point newscast remotely during this pandemic. Mike, Tiana, back to you guys. All right. It's alive and well, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs>